Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today I want to talk about new updates in Adobe Express to use Classroom and Assignment features. Here you can see I have Adobe Express open, and in the left side toolbar, there's a new Classrooms tab if you are using the Educator sign-in. You can use the Create Class add-on feature, and then once you do this, it opens a pop-up to begin building a class. Now, when you pick one of these types of classes, you can add different class grade levels, periods, stuff like that. When you pick the subject topic, that will determine what the actual picture is on these tiles. Now, once you've created your classroom, you want to add your students. Once you open it, you can click the Add Students function and it will generate a code. I have mine covered up here, but you can copy and paste it into whatever LMS you have or share it using a QR code in your classroom. Now, once you go back into your classroom, you can create assignments using the Create Assignments button. You can do these outside of any classroom you've made, but I highly recommend building them inside of the classrooms after you've already made them. You can give any a title you want to. There is a character limit, and there's also an introduction or description box that you can use as well. You can assign due dates, and if you create it outside of a classroom, you can assign it to a class here. You can do project types that are pre-built project types inside of Adobe Express, or you can um, add multiple ones, different kind of styles. And then you can um, add attachments from your actual computer or your Google Drive. This is a great place to give detailed directions for students if they need it so that way they have it or some kind of graphic that you may want them to use. You can attach it by using a link, put it directly into Google Classroom, or use Microsoft Teams in your uh, for, for your assignment to go forward. Now since I use the Canvas LMS, I actually just hyperlink directly in a Canvas assignment and use it that way. Now let's say you've created your assignment but you want to fix it because you changed your mind or want to add a template to it. You can go back and click edit, delete the template that you picked out, and then you can go to your stuff and actually pull the template that you created for your students. You can also modify your instructions after you've already posted the assignment. You can edit back and forth, and you can create some more things here. I also like to emphasize with the attachments part, if you have complicated instructions or possibly pictures for a walkthrough, you can add that in the attachments part to give students some more ideas. If you want to use the text to image generator, I also highly recommend creating a text to image and then showing them how to change that by just clicking on it in the assignment. You can see some of those ideas in some of my other videos that I'll have linked later on. One of the things you can see here is I actually made some mistakes inside the instructions. Again, you could do the edit assignment to go back and make those fixes unlimited times to make those changes before students see the work. Again, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. I hope you learned something new on how to use Adobe Express either in your school or with your students or at home. Um, if you want to learn more, check out some of my other videos. Click the uh, subscribe button here to the side or check out one of these other updates that I've made before. Thank you again.